Well, hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Donson from tutvid.com. Welcome right into this Photoshop tutorial where today we're going to take a look at the quick masking mode and just how useful and awesome it really can be. If you don't know about quick masking, you really ought to know, so check this quick tutorial out. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, or please, I should say, please subscribe to my channel, because I'd really love to have you stick around and check out more of the videos that we make here. All right, without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and check this thing out. All right, here we are in Photoshop, ready to check out the mighty little quick mask mode and all that it has to offer. Quick mask mode, I think it's the perfect way to quickly, hence the name, quickly create selections or even modify existing selections that you're working on. It's really an undervalued tool here in Photoshop. The quick mask mode button is this little icon here at the bottom of our toolbar, or you can quickly enter the quick mask mode by hitting the letter Q. That's, that's kind of my preferred way. Before we do that though, let's double click on the quick mask icon and that's going to open this tools options for us. In this little dialog box that appears, I can choose what the color indicates, whatever that means, and I can also choose the color. Well, follow me here. I like to get away from the default marked areas selection you probably have, and instead I like to choose the selected areas option. You'll see exactly what this means in just a moment. I also don't mind the standard red overlay color, but I might push mine up to 80% opacity or so just to make it a little bit more visible. Now we can go ahead and enter the quick mask mode quickly by hitting the letter Q on our keyboard. I'm going to grab my brush tool and I'm going to make sure that I'm using just a large hard edged brush to begin with. And I'll adjust the exact size of the brush tip by using the square bracket keys to make it either larger or smaller. And then I'm going to attempt to paint over this little guy's trunks in an effort to copy them off of this layer and pop them up onto a new layer. Once I've painted over the trunks entirely, all I have to do is hit the letter Q and it's going to convert my painting to a selection. So it's sort of like a paint on selection. Now, quick side note here. This is why I chose the selected areas choice in the quick mask options. The default option will select everything in the document except what you painted. To me, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I find that it's far more intuitive, for me at least, and useful to know that whatever I paint over, that's what's going to be selected. With the selection active, we can now use the hotkey Command or Control J to copy his little swim trunks up onto a new layer. I'll drag the trunks out over the water so we can see the edges of the selection, but look at this. Because we used a hard-edged brush, the selection isn't very natural or pretty to look at. It's very sort of hard-edged, right? Uh, it also may help in this case to open our quick mask options and choose an overlay color other than the default red. So I'm going to go with green here. Now, if we use a softer edge brush here, in fact, the softer the edge of the brush, the more feathered that edge of our selection will be, and zoom in a little bit more, I'll change the size of the brush, take a little bit more time to paint around the edges of his trunks, we'll get a much more natural looking selection, something a lot nicer. Also, if you paint over an area that you don't want selected, hit the letter X and it'll swap your foreground and background color, it'll make your foreground color white, and white will paint away selection. So black paints the selection on, white will paint the selection away. Now, we can hit the letter Q, it's going to load this new painting as a selection, and I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer here, and I'm going to shift the color of his trunks to more of a blue hue, maybe I'll desaturate them a little as well, and just try to, I don't know, match the rest of the image or something, just have a little bit of fun with it. Now, one quick side tip before I let you go. You can already have a selection active and enter the quick mask mode to further tweak and clean up that selection. Let's say I've used the quick selection tool and selected this little guy and his little inner tube. I can hit the letter Q with that selection active and enter the quick mask mode. And you can see how he's covered by the green overlay already. But here I could grab my brush tool and maybe paint with like a huge soft edge brush and the foreground color is set to white and use that to sort of fade the bottom of the selection so only the top half of this boy and his floating tube get selected. Then I hit the letter Q, load the selection. It looks like a hard edge there, but it's got this massive fade on it. Looks simple enough, but I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer here, and we're going to adjust this to make the top half of him. We're going to convert it to black and white, including his tube. In fact, I'm going to boost the levels of red and yellow, and let's see if we can make the red tube almost look like a giant floating piece of candy. Pretty cool. And you can see with these couple simple examples how powerful, fast, and useful Quick Mask can be. And that's going to be pretty much it, folks. If you think this tutorial has brought you some value, you uh, liked the video, you learned a thing or two, uh, consider supporting the channel by picking up a copy of my Photoshop course. It's all about how to retouch images in Photoshop. I think you'll really like it. Uh, and if you do pick up a copy, well, it helps support the channel. So for that, I thank you so very much. Uh, if not, make sure you at least subscribe to the channel because there's a ton of free videos here on the channel uh, that you can check out all about photo retouching and Photoshop and all kinds of other stuff as well. Uh, so guys, for quick masking and brushing on selections and just some of the little nooky and cranny features in Photoshop that I really think you uh, should know and like and enjoy. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. 
Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.